Yo, yo, this is it. I'm Mr. Fade, and you're listening to Attack of the Beats on illmusic.com. All right, this week we've got, uh, actually, instead of five, we've got six beats this week. Six. That's usually the maximum. Usually it's five or six, whatever. But anyway, six beats, and uh, I'm going to check them out and see what's up. And uh, we've got a lot of submissions lately, so that's really good. I'm glad about that, you know, so... uh, if you're listening to the show and uh, you don't know about sending in your beats or whatever, just go to uh, the top where it says Battles, Attack of the Beats, and just follow the instructions. That's it. All right, so uh, I'll get right to it. First up, we got LB hey, yo, with hey, yo. It Had to Be This Way. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Let's check it out. Hey, yo. So that was uh, LB with It Had to Be This Way. Okay, so. Uh, see, this beat, uh, see, it's interesting because it's it's really dope. I mean, I'm really feeling it. It sounds really, really good. I like the way you built it up and everything. Uh, it's just the sound of those, uh, that synth, you know? It's just, that's the only thing. Like, it's the beat sounds great. It's just that. Uh, I don't know, I just don't like that sound. Like it, cause see at the beginning it's like you just hear the, the, the synth and then um, you know, you have your kick or tom, whatever with the with the, with the finger snap, whatever, and it's just um, it uh, it just sounded kinda cheesy the synth, you know? It but then when the drums drop in with the bass, I mean then I was like, Okay, now it sounds better, right? You know, like the drums and bass are really helping it along and stuff. Um, but on its own it just doesn't sound as good as when it's with the drums and bass so i don't know it's just the beat is good i like the way you built the whole thing up and i would just change that synth you know like it's just that's the only thing really so other than that though great job man great job all right next up what we got here we got uh we got dennis sloan with epic glitch beat let's check it out Thank you. 
All right, all right. So that was Dennis Slom with Epic Rich Beat. All right, so uh, what's okay? This beat here, it's another one that's interesting because um, I like the beat, I like the way it's built up. Um, yeah, actually, I really like the way it's built up, and um, you know, all the instruments used. The only thing is the drums. I mean, that's the main thing uh, that I have to comment on is the drums. Is that um, at first I thought, okay, the kick sounds really nice, you know, nice and thick, or whatever. Uh, but then as it went on, I realized, okay, it's just the kick does sound kind of muffled, and the snare is just kind of sitting there, like it's just sitting there lazily, you know, like it's just. In other words, like the whole drum track is just not lively enough to go with the rest of the beat, because the rest of the, I mean, the rest of the music, because the music is is um, it's nice, like it's it's like it's like some kind of epic shit kind of thing, right? Like you say in the beat, so. Uh, like you see in the name there so uh you know the drums need to be epic as well so that's what i'm just saying like change out the drums somehow uh liven them up somehow i don't know you can get like some kind of uh i think i mentioned this the other week though there was some kind of plug-in ah oh, what was it i gotta find that out man it was like uh some kind of drum exciter or something like that get something like that so i mean you could use the drums you have i would recommend you get something else but if you did use the same one add this plug-in some kind of thing it's some kind of exciter and uh, it'll do that, something to do with the harmonics. It'll uh, liven it up somewhat, so at least it'll give it some kind of spice. So try that and uh, see what happens. But other than that, though, I like it, man. Good job. All right, so next up we have uh, London Beats with... Can we break this down? Fuck. You know? Okay, <laughs> old school jazzy funk. All right, let's check it out. Alright, so that was London Beats with Old School Jazzy Funk. And uh, you know what? This is a real head nodder. This is really dope. I'm sitting here nodding my head and I'm like, this is fucking funky, man. This is jazzy funky. And it's old school. But uh, no, it's uh, it's really dope. I'm really feeling it. And um, the drums especially, they're, they're really nice and thick and that snare smacks hard. I love it. Uh, you got the bass just kind of sitting there in the back. It's chilling. And uh, then you got the guitar coming in. I mean, it just sounds really, really good. I would recommend you just have something, some kind of little icing on the cake. Something like a... I know you're going for, you know, that jazzy funk thing. But if you had some kind of strings on top, just to, just something subtle, just to give it some kind of, like I said, icing on the cake. Just something on top. Uh, or if not, then just go with some horns. Just have like a little little horn loop or something just to spice it up a bit to give it a little more jazzy feel and uh i think you'd have yourself a really really dope beat i mean it is already but i think that would just add it add some little extra spice to it so yeah that's the word of the day spice add some spice to that shit 
All right, so uh, next up we got, oh, a uh, new member here, Optimus Prime. This guy's been posting in the forums. Apparently he's the Transformer. I used to have the one, uh, what was it, Starscream? Right? He, he transformed into a cassette. That was dope. And didn't it play stuff? I don't know. I think, it, I think it played stuff. I can't remember. And then my guy broke or whatever, you know, but... But then I had G.I. Joe. That was the shit, you know. That was even better, so. And uh, actually, what I used to do, I know I'm going off topic here, but what I used to do with the G.I. Joes, all right, listen to this. Let's listen, listen, listen. What I used to do was, see, in the back, you had it. There was a screw. <clears throat> so I don't, of course, you know, I'm bored. So I take the screw out, and I'd, uh, I would uh, take the body apart, and then just you know do that with a few of them and then just piece them back together separate parts so i had like new gi joe guys give them new names and masks and shit you know <laughs> hey it worked you know it was good it was cool shit all right so next up we got uh optimus prime with happy hunting let's check it out All right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, Optimus Prime with Happy Hunting. Uh, okay, so this beat, uh, the, well, I like it. The first thing is uh, the mix. I mean, uh, I get that too with uh, when I make a beat. It's like sometimes it comes out kind of um, thick, you know, because it depends on what samples you're using or whatever, you know, so it's hard to really bring it out. Um, so that's the thing. I had to really bring up my volume because the mix was, uh, was pretty thick and it was low, so... Uh, the volume was low so um if you could work on that part uh make it a little more um like a little more uh, on the high frequency band or whatever because it was just a little too thick um i like the melody you got going on i love the samples you use and all that shit um the main thing would be the drums actually we you know like the the kick at first you know, i was like, okay the kick sounds good um but the the snare and the and the um and the hat i could barely hear so that i would bring it out you know bring it out more um i don't know if you need to really layer that shit you know layer some snares and kicks or whatever but uh i would try that and the uh the drum loop itself it was good but honestly i would just keep it simple with just uh you know just like a kick snare kick kick snare that kind of thing and uh just just simple just simple because the melody's good it doesn't really need a busy drum track so uh, I would I would just change up the drums the way they sound and just change up uh, the pattern a bit and that's that's about it. But other than that, I like it and uh, 
I, I would just say just fix up the mix. Just make it a little more um, uh, exciting, you know. So I had that trouble too sometimes. I mean, I had this one beat I did, and uh, it's my favorite beat that I've ever done. And uh, But it's just so thick, though, you know. I'm like, how the fuck do I fix this? I don't know, so. You know, something to do with EQ and shit, you know, whatever, so. I never fixed that beat, so uh, whatever. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe even just uh, just send everything to a bus and then just uh, EQ that bus. And just uh, add some highs. I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. Try that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm running out of ideas tonight. I don't know. But uh, other than that, though, I like it. Octopus Prime. All right. So uh, next up, we got uh, Silver Soprano. And, okay, what's this called here? Okay, it's uh, call it boom trap. Okay, let's check it out. Alright, alright, so that was Silver Soprano, we call it Boom Trap. So I don't know if that's a new genre or whatever, but uh, I never heard of that shit, Boom Trap. You know, what the hell, I still don't know what trap is, I don't know. Alright, so uh, this one, um, actually, going back for a second to uh, Optimus Prime when I was mentioning about EQ and the shit and uh, giving it some highs or whatever, actually, this track by Silver Soprano reminded me that it's... Uh, it's, I mean, like you, you should make it brighter, you know what I mean? Just make it brighter. That's 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 what's missing. Because on this one, Silver Soprano, uh, the first thing I noticed was how bright the mix was. So that's what I was talking about. Like this one here, uh, first of all, this drum track, and especially the especially the snare, man, it's just it's sick. I mean, it just sounds so good that snare. So the drum track's really really good, really feeling it. And you got your little piano going on, stuff, keys and all that. It sounds really good and. Uh, just keep that going that's the thing it's like it's it just sounds so good but at the same time you have like i think you did this last week too it's just like you just have a you just have these little breakdowns where you just stop it i think it was like a horn or whatever you have here you just kind of stop the beat and then you have this little other part come in and then you continue on so but when you do that it just kills the vibe i'm listening to it i'm like oh this is so dope and all of a sudden it just this horn part comes in or whatever and it's just like, oh fuck you know so but I would just I would say just just keep this going the way you have it, and then for, you don't need to add anything, nothing like that. Just uh, just have if you want to have a breakdown, just have the drum track as the breakdown, and that's what you did a few times on this, so uh, that's good. But just keep doing that. Don't don't stop it because it just fucks it up. You know? So, but it sounds good though. It sounds really good. I'm really feeling it. Good job. Okay, so next up we have the last beat. It's by T Coast. The distant phase. Let's check it out.
All right, all right. Okay, so that was T Coast with Distant Phase. Okay, so this one, now you got this wicked sample, and it sounds really, really good with the vocal snippet or whatever, and it's just so smooth, the sample. And I'm listening to it, and I'm expecting this vicious drum track to come in. Honestly, that's what I wanted to hear. And I mean, it's great what you did with the drums and stuff, and it's a nice, smooth track. It's, you know, it's slow moving and stuff. But really, man, I mean, I think if you had some kind of fast drum track come in on top of this, it would sound so much better. It'd be just sick, 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 you know? Like, it just, whatever. But uh, what you did, like I said, what you did was good, but it's not what I really expected for this type of sample, because the sample sounds really good. It sounds uh, like some epic shit. So I had some kind of drums, man. Like, I was expecting something vicious, man. So if you could do that, try that man try that and uh other than that i mean the the bass was a little heavy uh sort of muddy not really but sort of you know but whatever uh, just my preference i guess but um but really though uh, it sounded good it's just i don't think those drums should have been there like that like a slow drum track i think it should have been more of an up tempo track the whole the whole thing there because uh really i think that's uh a lot of people do that today, actually. You know, give that a shot, man. I mean, it's it's good. You have a slow sample, and then you bring in a fast drum track. Try that shit, man. It's good. Trust me. All right, so uh, that's it for me. Don't forget to uh, send in your beats for the next uh, episode or whatever, and uh, you know where to go. So I'm Mr. Fade. This is Attack of the Beats, and my favorite beat this week. Drum roll, please. London Beats with old school jazzy funk. Let's check it out.